Hi guys, thanks for tuning to my channel. This is Sonetta. So I am in my makeup room here. Just kind of straightening up, cleaning up a little bit. And I thought I'd come in and do an empties video so that I can throw my empty products away. You know, empty out this bag. Bag of empties. And so I'll just go through it. I don't even remember what's in here, but I'll just go through go through this bag, talk about the products, let you know what I thought about them. This room, I have made it, it's just so cluttery. I've made it, I was cleaning up my other vanity across the hall, I mean across the room there to make room for my computer. Because I usually just sit with my laptop on my lap <laughs> in my bed. So I just cleared off my vanity so I could use that as like my little desk. And I have so much stuff that I'm just giving away and throwing out. So I did a, a makeup purge last year and I just did another one. Way too much stuff. And I didn't buy any makeup in 2018 at all. I just was using what I got and that's what I'm going to continue to do. Anyway, um, let me just stop rambling and go on in here and see what we got. So you guys remember when I said I didn't like the Big Tub of Eco because by the time you get finish with it at the bottom it gets real gummy so I bought this small one used it up and I haven't replaced it yet because I had some other Fantasia gel that Fantasia icy gel or something like that and it wasn't gummy so I'm gonna finish that one up before I go back to get my eco this is just some caress daily silk um, body wash that I got um, a couple bottles of those because I had ran out of Bath Body Works, but I have since gone back to Body Works. But I still like that. I'm gonna still keep using that. This is a Fructis Garnier. I think we're all familiar with that brand anyway. But this was the triple nutri triple nutrition um, conditioner for damaged, dry and damaged hair. And I got this. Because I just felt like my hair was really, really dry. I really like this. I really like this. I didn't replace it yet. Because I'm using um, an, something else right now. But I will definitely repurchase that. This is just some um, soft soap. I don't... Mm, it's one of the cheaper ones. Like you can get at Walgreens or whatever. It smells really, really good. But I didn't like the way it lathered. So I'm going to be getting that. And... Part of my purging, I'm just getting rid of. Do y'all remember when we used to be, um, those of us in the beauty community used to love that banana powder by Ben Nye. And I had had the Topaz one and the Sienna. And these are pretty much fit full because you only needed so much. I was never ever going to go through these. Not going to give them away because when I say they are old, they have to be at least three to four years old. So I had those displayed and all that. This is another one. And I am getting rid of those. Um, for, for my setting powder, I just use my, um, I don't have it in here. I moved some of my makeup out of here and put it in my bathroom. Um, my, uh, what am I using for my setting powder? Let me show y'all real quick. Do y'all remember, um, am I... Do y'all remember um, the Laura Mercier in medium, the translucent? So I'm using that. I I use this. It's a loose powder. Only thing I mainly need to do is set my concealer under my eye, or just I'll just use my regular face powder, which is the Makeup Forever. Um. And mine is number 218. And I like this powder because this is really good for just an all-over powder. If I just don't want to wear foundation. Um, which I usually don't. Sometimes on Sundays I do for church or something like that. But usually just every day I'm just putting concealer under my eyes. This is, this showed up in my favorite several times. It's the Equate. Um body moisturizer this is i think a yep it says compared to vaseline intensive care it is the same thing it is the same thing you guys and it's 93 cents 
I have replaced this bottle over and over and over and over again. I got scared one time because I didn't see it for a long time at Walgreens and then, or Walmart didn't show back up. Um, and they changed the, um, the label. They just kind of changed the look of it, but it is still 93 cents and it works really, really good. Uh, especially in the dry seasons. Y'all know I, for my makeup remover, I use baby wipes. Huggies, preferably. This is another one. See, see, this is what it used to look like. With that blue. And now it just looks like that. But it's the exact same thing. And I have to stay stocked up on those because those are my favorite. Um, my favorite toner. This I replaced this already. This is just the old school sea breeze. I think this showed up in my um, empties last time. And I will stick with this. I don't see no reason to use anything different unless, I, you know, I'll come across a really good sale. So I think that's everything. Oh, one last thing. Let me put these back in here real quick and then I'm going to just toss this. Today is trash day. So I was, I got to get rid of all this stuff that's been just kind of collecting all the stuff that I had collected that I'm going to purge. I want to get it out to the trash today. Um, this. This is my second time using this. Actually, my third time, but my second time in a row. So, the last time I dyed my hair, I used this one, and then I just used it again, I want to say a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's L'Oreal Fiera, and it's natural black. So, you know, like, if you put a black rinse on your hair, you see somebody with a black rinse, and it's like a stark black this is a natural black and it's called natural black it just looks like naturally black so this is a permanent hair color and so then sunday at church i was talking to the lady who cut my hair my stylist lady and i told her i wanted to dye my hair for the spring something real pretty like a copper color and um she was like girl we're gonna have to really lift that black out of your hair so i wish i hadn't have done this i wish i hadn't have done this um because she's gonna have to you know lift that out of my hair which can potentially be damaging but she knows what she's doing I trust her so this spring I'm going to have my hair I just wanted a pretty brownish copper color um, or a purple color I got this picture on my phone let me see if I can show y'all we just chatting for those of you who watch my meatless Mondays, I did make uh, a meatless lasagna. It was so good. I made that today. Um, it's uploading now. So it may already be posted by the time you see this video. But anyway, look at this. Let me see if we can get it. Y'all see that purple? This one right here at the, at the bottom. So these are just different shades of purple. But I love this one. <laughs> what? I love it. So... I'm still looking for a job, so we go. <laughs> we go wait till after I have to find a job before, cause I can't see myself going into an interview with purple hair like that. But it's a rich, deep purple. It, it to me is, it's, I like it. I think it'll work um, in all settings. But anyway, what else do I want to chat with you guys about? I think I talked to you guys about my see yourself doing a challenge. Some of you are with me on that, doing something that you've never done before, or getting back to what you have been putting off. Um, and for most people, it's diet and exercise. I'm doing pretty good with that. Um, but I started playing the guitar. So, um, it's harder than I thought. Well, I knew it was going to be hard, but it really, really is hard. It really, really is very, very challenging. But um, I had to take my nails off. So, which I'm okay with that. So, I just got just a plain manicure. And I'll just keep them short like that. So, I couldn't, you know, do the do the strings with the nails and then even when I cut them I had to cut them all the way down then it just looked dumb having acrylic just on the top you know what I mean so got rid of my nails and I like I like the look I needed a break anyway for my nails so anyway that's all that's going on guitar lessons still looking for a job um still working my t-shirts okay and that's going pretty good and that's it I did the meatless Monday for four weeks so today's gonna be my last time i'm not doing that anymore even if i still do it i won't be recording those videos but i'll get back to um doing my regular videos for food recording food and um you know doing my meal ideas and stuff so a lot of you like to um i get a lot of requests when are you gonna come back with your food videos i will be back with those 
but I was just doing the meatless Monday. I definitely can't be a vegetarian. That would not work for me. For those to, to those of you who can. Um, but yeah, you guys, I think that's everything. Just wanted to pop in and say hello, touch base. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything to update you guys on. I haven't been wearing makeup. So, just to sit here and do my makeup. I haven't been doing it. Just, you know, just real quick. Some eyeliner, mascara. And then my hair, like I said, I dyed it. But I only expose my hair um, when I go to church. Or, you know, if I have a job interview, which I've had a couple. Um, other than that, I just keep it under the hat because it's easier for me. Anyway, you guys, have a great week. Today is, what's today's date? The 4th, February 4th. January flew by just like that. Just like that. And January for me was very, very challenging on so many levels. So, um, but I'm ready. I'm in good spirits and I'm feeling good. So, you guys have a great week. And I will talk. Oh, leave a comment below. What do you want to see from me? I know... You guys want to see the hair videos and the makeup videos. I haven't been thrifting lately, so I won't do that. Um, just come and chit chat. Chit chat videos and maybe some vlogs. I kind of told my cousins, because I hang out with them a lot, that, you know, I make YouTube videos. And y'all going to just have to participate. Y'all going to have to, you know, I don't want to see, oh, don't get me in the camera. I don't want any of that. So I kind of pre warned them. Because we do do a lot of things together. So I can be vlogging just kind of showing you guys inside my day-to-day -day life right because you guys like to see that so anyway that's all i got stop rambling i'll talk to you guys later bye